OK. So to find even and odd, ladies and gentlemen, here is the basic tenet. If you apply f of negative x and you get back out f of x, your graph is even. If you plug in f of negative x and you get back out opposite of f of x, then your graph is odd. So let's go back and review what is f of x. If I plug in f of negative x and I get back out f of x, I need to get 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x. If I'm going to get negative f of x, negative f of x looks like this. The opposite of 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x. Well, that looks like negative 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 12x. Okay, That's what negative f of x looks like. This is what f of x looks like. So what we need to do is, is now plug in f of negative x and see what we get. Which one is it going to look like? If once we plug in f of negative x, if it looks like this, the graph is odd. If it looks like this, the graph is even. So let's plug it in. Any odd number raised to an e odd power is going to be negative. Or any negative number raised to an odd power is still going to be negative. Any um, odd num or uh, sorry, any negative number raised to an even power is now positive. So that becomes positive 3x squared. Negative times a negative is a positive. Yeah, that's a negative. OK. So now, let's go back. Is our resultant equate, or is it our resultant function? When we plugged in f of negative x, does it look like this? No, so it's not odd. Does it look like our original function? No, so it's not even either. So it's neither, odd or even. Okay. But like I said, guys, 